Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So today I thought I would try another one of these two minute tip videos and try to keep things as concise and short as possible. But what I wanna do is talk about something that has been kind of coming on the last several years. And it's something that if we're not embracing as photographers, we maybe aren't gonna lose money, but we're gonna lose potential to earn more money uh, in our profession. And that is shooting video. And I wanted to share a story about a job that I had just probably about a month ago. And it is kind of a cautionary tale and it spurned me to make this video that I'm making right now. So it started out as any other proposal that I might get in from an ad agency uh, regarding a f upcoming photo shoot. And this happened to deal with uh, some employees of a distribution company uh, that they were wanting to do an ad campaign for. And so I would be in charge of doing some uh, stage portraits and environmental portraits of the employees of this company. Nothing too crazy, out of the ordinary. And so we you know, went back and forth, everything was set, landed the job. And then the agency came back to me and said, would you be comfortable filming some B-roll in the factory of these workers doing their jobs? So I was like, okay, uh, I think I can handle that. And then we kind of renegotiated a little bit more to cover that end of you know, extra work and we had all that settled. And then the agency came back to me again and said the client was requesting that we do some interviews of the employees, describing kind of what they do for their work, how long they've been there, all that kind of fun stuff. And so it, got, it quickly got more complicated, but I still, well, let me back up. I would probably say a couple years ago, if not maybe even a year ago, I would have probably been a little too nervous to stick my neck out to, to accept a job like this. But having pushed myself in the video realm of things, actually doing these YouTube videos has helped a tremendous amount. And that was one reason I wanted to start this channel during the pandemic when everything else kind of evaporated there for several months. And so how did I get to a place where I was somewhat comfortable in accepting a job that had so much video involved? Well, I started, and I thought I would just share these tips with y'all. I started using my phone, to be honest, and just shooting short clips on here, using apps. Uh, the GoPro has like an app on here that you can use to, I think it's called Splice, that you can put different clips together in a timeline. Great for creating social media content. And at the same time, you're learning just how different clips and different little video portions or pieces will come together in a timeline. And then, I kind of moved up to where I'm, I was shooting behind the scenes stuff for my own photo shoots with, this is a Canon uh, M6 Mark II. Just a good little camera. You can get these for, I don't know, 500 bucks or so. But probably the main thing would be just using the camera that you most likely already have. And if it's a mirrorless, that makes things even easier uh, because technology has gotten so great in these cameras that uh, autofocus, which used to be a challenge for most cameras, uh, is pretty much taken care of for you in these cameras. So use these, shoot different clips, try different frame rates, see what it looks like at 24, at 60, at 120. Uh, put them all into a timeline and just kind of play around with that. And another place that I learned a lot more about video as well is just on set of some of these uh, video production where I am the stills guy on set. And so I'm there to work, but I'm also there on my own accord to learn. So I'm always watching what's going on with the camera operators there, the director, how all that relates back to what the client is watching, all that kind of good stuff. So I hope this is probably not something you really need to hear, but I had that uh, job come up here recently and it really triggered something to me that I was like, I need to share this with people that watch this channel. So if you feel like this was worthy, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe down there for more content just like this. Find me on Instagram at Quants Photo and on Twitter. And I hope to see y'all again soon in the next one.